So good afternoon, everyone. I hope my screen is visible to everyone. Uh, can uh, can I just con can anyone just confirm if my screen is visible? Oh uh, yes, ma'am. The screen is visible. Thank you. Uh, so today we will talk about briefly about uh, iSTEM portal. Uh, iSTEM is a national R and D research resource portal. So uh, when we talk about iSTEM, it is not only related to R&D infrastructure map. There are different aspects of iSTEM that we will discuss today in brief. So firstly, let me take you to the R&D infrastructure map, and then I briefly, then I will briefly talk about different uh, uh, modules that are present in the iSTEM. So the tabs that you are seeing in iSTEM, we call it the modules. These are uh, this is the Kaushal Bharat module. Uh, this is the employment opportunity module. This is the digital catalog module, and this is the R and D infrastructure map. So, for example, as a normal user who do not have any connection to any of the labs in the country, I want to complete my research and I want to book an equipment, say XRD. So, once I will go to istem.gov.in, click on R and D infrastructure map, and write the name of equipment over here. You can see that there are 265 equipment from 145 institution that you can see, uh, see on the screen. Here you can also see that there are different states from where, like, I can book an equipment. So, uh, let me take you back. This is the full screen mode. Sometimes it happens that you want to specifically zoom to a particular state or a particular point. Then you can, yes, uh, there is a limited zoom option is also available. So here, uh, now one more thing. Uh, when I am sitting at IASC, the nodal center of iSTEM office, here you can see that uh, the nodal center of iSTEM, here you can see the first equipment that I can see is from Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore, the place where I am sitting. So this helps me to find out the equipment nearest to me. The XRD that is nearest to me is the XRD uh, X-ray diffractometer four circle, the XRD powder and thin films, and the different kinds of XRD that are that are uh, that you can see according to the distance. So here, for example, I want to book the first equipment X-ray diffractometer four circle. So once I will click on it, I have to click on view more. So once I will click on view more, if there would be no login here, you can see I have logged in already to the portal. If there would be no login, for example, I have not logged into the portal, then there will be a login option that will be visible. I have to uh, log into the portal using that login button. So here you can see when you talk about this particular equipment, the usage rate of this particular equipment has been updated. We can reserve the equipment using the equipment reservation option. Once I will click on equipment reservation, here also you can see that there are different uses rate that are related to this particular equipment. If I am an academic or external user, it is only 840 rupees that I need to pay per hour in rupees. All this calculation you can see over here that it is mentioned over here. What is the unit and what is the uh, like currency? Secondly, when we talk about most of the usage rate in our uh, portal is only on INR. So ne next we will talk about this is all the usage rate that we uh, we are seeing over here. Next we will talk about equipment reservation. So let me click on equipment reservation. As a public user, you can see that now I want to book an equipment on Tuesday on 23rd August and from 1 to 2 p.m. So I will click on it. I will click on the number of hours that I want to use this particular equipment. For example, I only want to use it for one hour. I can also reduce it. Like for example, if I want to go for 2 to 2.30 or 3 to 3.30, that, that option is also available. And according to that, you can see now I have to mention this is how many hours. So you can see this is also available. So there are three options, the characterization, fabrication and project. We use project, uh, we are currently testing this particular project module. So when we talk about project, if someone is, uh, it is mentioned in our portal that this particular project is there, then any booking that will take, uh, that will be for that project, that can be uh, uh, like you can get those details under the project. So uh, for that reason, uh, this project module 
is uh, we are developing the second is characterization characterization is simply if you want to book a sam tem xrd you can directly go to characterization and book that particular facility fabrication some of the labs like sense where we are currently sitting and the labs like scl chandigarh and the different laboratories in the country uh, the fabrication facility is also available be it micro fabrication or the nano fabrication or different kinds of fabrications so the for this fabrication facility some consumables will be required some extra uh, things will be required for that you can choose always the fabrication so we will click on characterization we will proceed for the booking so here you can see my details are automatically populated my personal information is already populated in this portal the booking information is already populated like uh, what is the name of equipment where it is and everything and the technical information you can see that this technical information i have to fill for example i want to fill it uh, maybe i can write the title of the project and i can uh, write about the nature of the sample and i can write about any technical information i can also choose some of the files as a reference paper that i want to share with the custodian or the end operator for example if you want for xrd if you want to give some reference paper to that particular operator you are more than welcome to attach them here and here you can see for uh, one hour it was 840 rupees for two hour 30 minutes is 20 uh, 2100 rupees that i have to pay excluding gst now as a custodian i will show you or take you to the custodian side also you can include this gst at that time here i am not going to pay at this time i will i will pay as a user i will pay only after uh, only after uh, when the custodian will allocate the booking I will surely take you to the FBR discussion. And here I can write the billing address. Here I can write uh, who is uh, who is the person. Uh, the, the bill bill should be in my name or in my supervisor's name or in director's name. We can mention that name. And here we can mention the billing address. Once we will click. If I need any extra facility, I will click on yes. I will click on uh, what is the like. There are different kinds of. Uh, a uh, user when we click on fabrication lot many consumables will come over here so yes uh, you can also book the extra facilities and uh, that extra facility should be added with that particular equipment there is some options so if i will click on direct booking as of now so directly a booking request will go to sense and the, all of the even the operator and every person everyone uh, they will uh, get a booking request so as of now i don't want to go for the booking request but this is all i can add to cart if i want to later complete the booking i can also add to cart so this was all about the booking so uh, let me not go to the booking as of now so uh, this is how a public user can directly go to the portal and book a facility so if you are used to with the uh, particular uh, portal then within 3 minutes you can directly book a particular uh, like uh, equipment uh, do you have any question ma'am as of now uh, yes ma'am i have a question like for example if i have to book the two equipments at a time is it possible through this yes, portal yes 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 uh, similarly for example if I want to book a SEM at the same time, similar booking uh, like calendar will come. Yes, you can book that particular equipment. But uh, yeah, you can see over here, you can go to equipment reservation and book that particular equipment. That is possible. Every equipment is different and their calendar is different. So uh, let, let me take you to the portal as a custodian. Now I, I am trying to log in as a custodian and this is the IN. IN means the institute representative to a particular institute. Uh, IN is the institute head for a particular institute. Similarly, IR are the institute representatives. They have all the privileges to uh, create the operator details, to create the department logins, to create uh, like different kinds of, um, to update the user's rate, to create different kinds of login. We will talk about it shortly. So all these uh, things are available to the IN user. So let me give me some time. So this CAPTCHA is case sensitive. We have to be very uh, like uh, careful while typing the CAPTCHA. It's case sensitive. 
so here see at the end uh, at that time i was trying to book this particular equipment after login i will definitely see this equipment reservation option so this also saves the previous activity uh, so let me take you to the previous version here you can see here you can see create view upload and report this is the third sub menu the first sub menu you can see facility supplier map service map the other is uh, the uh, home istem equipment and now i am going to create view rnd institute rnd organization create view rnd organization and institution when you will click on institution you can get a detail of your institution so here you can see you can click on create institute representative and you can create a representative uh, for your particular institute for example you want to assign this particular uh, uh, like uh, role to a particular uh, person who is very knowledgeable in that equipment who can collaborate across the department that person can be the institute representative and similarly they, these are all the values that uh, that are test values and you can see here if for example in department of high stem or let me take you department of chemistry dr vimal kumar is the head of department so you can see his email id over there and his phone number over there but the thing is this particular person cannot log into the portal because when you will click on to the portal he must be a department representative or he must be a he must be under the faculty list otherwise he cannot log into the portal if you are seeing that login id is given like dp0092 or fi test these kinds of email ids are there uh, login ids are there then only they can uh, like uh, log into the portal so uh, if i as a in i want to create a department admin i can always create a department admin and i can fill the details and i can always create a department admin here i am not going to create a department admin Uh, and also if we talk about faculty list each faculty in your particular institution or any senior scientist they might have some facility for example under a particular professor there are 5 to 10 equipment so that is called the facility or the even a, a particular professor can have 3 to 4 labs so then these are the different labs so facility can be even the equipment that you want to talk about or that can be even the laboratory Uh, laboratories so i will go to the faculty list how many faculties are there so these are some of the test faculties if you will if i will click on one of the department faculty i can create new facility under him for example under this department faculty i have this one facility and here you can see this is the particular facility under a facility if you will click on facility there is an operator uh, technologist for example you are a professor you have one facility and you have only one operator you can just go to your facility you can create a facility coordinator if you want to create some technical officer and all you can create it otherwise you can directly uh, create an operator under that particular facility so this is also available otherwise we do not need to go this far even the department admin can work most of the time so or uh, this was all about the uh, all about the facility creation and the operator mapping to a particular facility now i will take you to the fbr discussion and the equipment profile so till then if there are any question you can interrupt me in between so if i will go to Yeah, I like to ask something here. Uh, yes, you sir. mentioned about the tool operator. So, tool operator has to go through this hierarchy to get himself uh, at this portal, or he has to contact only the department admin. Ah, uh, tool technologist can always contact to department admin. He can create a facility, and then they can get the login credential for operator. only one facility would be enough for example in your department there are one there are only one or two labs then two facility you can create and under under that you can map these operator so otherwise you can also send the operator details to istem 
and iSTEM team can also create login credential for them. But uh, we prefer that this would be done by institution itself because in iSTEM we have 23,000 equipments more than that even. So if we will uh, map each operator to 23,000 facility, it will take us a lot of, lot of time. But still we can do it if it is not possible from the uh, like uh, custodian end. As of now, the time when I am talking uh, directly, we cannot uh, create any operators. It, it has to be done through the custodian itself. So now uh, let me take you to the upload. In upload, you can upload departments. For example, I have uh, I am the institution head and I have five departments in my particular institute. I can upload all the five departments in one go. If you will click on upload, there is a department option. Here is a template in which the name and the uh, email ID and the name of department would be written. You can fill this Excel sheet. You can circulate this Excel sheet among all the departments. Say five members uh, fill that particular sheet and you can just click on browse and upload that particular Excel sheet here. That is also possible for an IN. IN can or IR can upload department equipment. Now I'm taking you to the equipment. If we will click on equipment, here you can see once we will click on download template, there will be an equipment profile that you can download. You can ask each and every faculty to fill the equipment that they, ha they have and they can uh, after once they have filled this particular uh, Excel sheet, you can directly upload to the portal. You do not need to worry more, much about which department it will go. There is a column in this particular template in which department is there automatically software will do it for you. So this is also one good thing. And after that, for example, in your particular laboratory, you have 10 number of public user or maybe 20 international or national user. So, and you want to upload all of them into the portal. So you just need to provide with the name, email ID and contact details. And if any other information is there, you can uh, talk about it maybe later. And this public user can upload their profile. So with these three details, the login ID and credential will be sent to public user and now they can use our iStamp portal for booking. So uh, national portal for booking. So here, uh, okay, now let me take you to the FBR discussion. Also, uh, public user can only be uploaded by IN. Dep IN or IR, department can only be uploaded by IN or IR, equipment can be uploaded by department admin also so even the faculty can upload the equipment so now let me take you to the reports and there's a dashboard under reports there is dashboard so in create view we can go to institution this is a dashboard so this is the most interesting part here you can see that this is the facility booking record facility booking record is for example uh, in pnr you know about pnr right uh, uh, the PNR number is there when we book any ticket through IRCTC. So uh, uh, that PNR number is there and with that PNR number we can get uh, what is the current status of our journey and all like booking and all. So here also we have 10 digit FBR number, the facility booking record. Uh, if I can take you to the website as of now. I will take you to the website later and we can see that we can even see uh, the within within uh, without login we can see what is our current status of FBR that is also possible probably you can scroll the main website the previous uh, the main version and you can uh, like yourself see that thing so yeah so as of now you can see in this test login we have 77 pending requests let me click on it more info here you can see this is the test equipment and uh, someone has booked uh, through uh, this portal and this is his or her email id this is user organization this is user state then what is the date of booking and what is the date of reservation they have asked for all these details are available to me as a custodian i can go to the action i can edit click on that edit i will see the overall fpr here you can see this is the FBR profile that I can see. This person, Mr. Arav Kumar, he has this email ID, this phone number, and he has booked this equipment. 
how much charges he has paid let me go through it okay he has paid only 2000 rupees as of now estimated amount so uh, do uh, if i am talking about he has paid has he really pays, uh, paid no as of now this is the invoice uh, this is a kind of what you can say fbr profile that is generated only after as a custodian i will click on allocate the slot then the final amount will come so for example what he has done he also wants some liquid sample that will cost 2600 then this and then this and if i will see the estimated amount is only 200 rupees number of hours he want this particular equipment is one hour okay and rate per hour here we can also see 200 rupees per hour but this particular user has not uh, added these all uh, uh, like consumables are also required right we will also add this okay now i can go to allocate the slot okay this particular user is saying one hour i i don't think this will be completed in one hour as an operator or as a department admin so i am allocating a two hour slot as of now now the charges will automatically increased and they have written without gst but i am paying gst maybe 5% GST I want to pay, I will click on with GST. Now I have to pay this 18% for equipment, basically we have 18% GST. Uh, until and unless you get a GST exemption. So here you can see 18% GST, now he has to pay 472 rupees. Other charges are there, I came to know that around 5000 rupees for example uh, we have to be very accurate about these other charges but let me assume that around 5000 rupees they are the other charges that he have mentioned so i can always add to the other charges but i came to know this particular person is from our own institute by some way or other and i want to give them a discount of for example 2000 rupees that is also possible and uh, maybe the person has not written properly and this is not external user but internal user i can also change it so what i can change i can change the date i can change the time i can add the charges i can reduce the charges by giving discount and also i we can uh, change the number of uh, like uh, gst or without gst we can also change this also uh, so this was all about it if i want to give any remarks to him i can also write a remarks to him this remark will directly go to that particular user so let me if i will click on allocate as of now then directly this particular uh, like the notification will go to the user that this particular institute has allocated you a slot from 1 pm to 3 pm on this date so now he can choose to pay or he can choose to talk to you so all the things that are uh, that are there so as of now i am not going to allocate it i can also reject for example some kind of fabrication or characterization is there that is not possible in my machine or my machine is not working anything can be there then i can directly give a reason and reject reason is important uh, for record purpose for example your machine is down that is a very valid reason we are also monitoring how many equipments are down at a particular time so if your machine is not working uh, then please mention a reason over here or any other reason maybe vacuum moisture anything can be there or obviously the sample clarification required when we talk about clarification required if you want to ask anything from the user for example today you want to ask about how many samples are there maybe they have not mentioned it properly or any other kind of clarification you can always click on submit uh, like write the clarification and then submit the clarification a uh, message will uh, this message as well as email will go to the user so this is the inbox if you can see here like this the user will also have an inbox and they can see all the messages in this inbox so i think so far it is clear it's very easy to allocate reject or clarify an fbr request you just have to go to the report dashboard and then to the request yes ma'am um, so I have a question here. For example, if a person who wants to use the resources and he is booking uh, for this FBR, so anybody from the institution the, or the only the department admin or the tool operator will be able to see that the person has some request for the booking. Very good question, ma'am. Uh, I will take this question. So when I talk about this uh, particular profile that you are seeing, right, in reports and dashboard, as an IR, I will see all of the uh, booking that has been made to my institute. 
but as a department i will only see the booking for my department so this is visible to all but the number of request will be different for example your 77 requests are for that particular institute but maybe for a department it can be one request or two requests so yes this is there how many clarification i have asked it will be here if we will go to more info all the request in which i have asked clarification i can access them and now i can allocate the slot if there a result uh, like if they have replied so all these facilities are also available with the, with the same way like when we click on edit button you can allocate a slot and you can also obviously reject the slot user can also cancel the slot if you if you are seeing cancelled request it means that now user don't want your facility or maybe the user has not prepared the sample as of now or due to some other reason the user has cancelled request all the cancelled request will only come from the user well, as a custodian we can reject the request and once the online there are two kinds of payment online or offline if your ecs form the electronic clearance service form is uh, uh, properly verified in the portal it is linked to the payment gateway then whatever the amount this user will pay here it will directly go to your account for example for one institute it will go to, uh, for a particular institute there will be one ecs form and one account in which all the payment will go and later all the the institute it's up to institute policy how it uh, uh, give it to other uh, departments so yes uh, this is there and if the institute has some kinds of policy that they are gst exempted on all that the custodian can always put that without gst and all these marks so here uh, when we talk about fbr executed once a slot has been allocated user has paid maybe online or offline in offline there is some other uh, problem like not actually problem uh, in offline the user has to choose that he want to pay offline then he will uh, provide them uh, provide the custodian with the maybe slip or uh, like whatever the bank chalan and once that uh, the uh, the custodian will verify that yes this is done and uh, like this is correct they have, the user has paid then only they can move forward so in offline payment yes uh, Uh, there are two more steps that are involved that uh, custodian has to verify custodian has to also upload that particular slip then it will be considered as offline payment so fbr once this all is done the user has uh, from pending to allocated to payment these three things are done then the fbr is executed once the fbr is executed uh, after that one feedback will be there if the user has uh, filled that feedback you can also do the same once this feedback is done we will consider fbr is executed so feedback is also an important part of fbr secondly uh, you can see that this kind of uh, like how many requests are there in their particular uh, time you can also see all the details over here as an in i can see all the details whosoever user are there from which institute they are and all these things can be seen from here so i hope uh, fbr is pretty more clear so now i will take you to up uh, next our own website if you will click on dub, uh, double click on home tab you can go to our main website again so this was one part r&d infrastructure booking will hardly take 3 minutes and allocating a slot will hardly take 1 to 2 minutes but that depends on uh, where when the slot is uh, available or not also the operator can uh, book the slot for their internal purpose so let me take you maybe back if you want to book a slot for your internal purpose that is also available uh, so uh, we are again uh, in the previous version let me go to institution active equipments are the equipments that we will talk about these are the equipment which are currently active or they are currently up there is no any issues in these equipment for example in active equipment i want this a test tem test equipment i want to add it the users rate for example i think for industry user i can charge high now because of some other reason all this changes that you will do on national portal that will be monitored so uh, like uh, you can always make the changes but it will be always subject to monitoring so you cannot frequently fluctuate the usage uh, usage charges for anyone 
So uh, this is uh, the kind of thing that we will be definitely monitoring. You can always edit the equipment profile. When you will go to active equipment, select the equipment, you can, act, you can change that particular equipment profile, whatever the details are. For example, someday if the equipment goes down and you want all the supplier and service provider to know it immediately. So you can drop an email over here. You can drop an email of department admin or someone who is responsible for it. So yes, this is available and like these kind of facilities are available. Once the equipment will be down, service and supplier uh, can, will definitely uh, like look into it without any other intervention or you can drop in call also. But email will definitely go. Now uh, users rate you can update, update from here. Okay. Uh, now uh, I'm going to equipment calendar for this particular equipment. I uh, from 17 uh, till 14 to 15 like this may let, let me take this time. Yeah, I want to if you want to full day block up at 15 we cannot go back date obviously if I want to uh, do a full day blocking today or maybe tomorrow then I can do that I can select these particular slots I can select the slot I can select the reason maybe booked by internal use by PI. And like this, I can block that particular equipment. So no external request will come for that equipment in these hours. So yes, this can also be done. And you can also go for full day blocking. If you want to block this particular equipment for full day, for example, you have five sample, you want to do it today and you want to take it full day. Then you can book uh, block for full day. Book for internal use or maybe equipment due to non-availability of accessories. For example, equipment is down due to some region you can mention maybe operator not available anything you can do so yes uh, this is for internal use of pi that can be done and then the full day blocking will be there i cannot book this particular equipment for that day so these kinds of features are also available at iStem portal if you will click on equipment calendar you know, if you have five equipment you can do this for five equipment also operator can also uh, look into all these things basically operator can block that particular uh, operator uh, from uh, IR can do obviously department admin can do and even IR can do uh, sorry even uh, the operator can do all three can do so if we talk about this SRF form for example some of the equipments like uh, NMR we have a certain format that you have to fill this particular PDF otherwise uh, this okay uh, you get uh, there is one set format of iStem, but you want some customized one that please also mark all of this you can choose a PDF file the particular user will fill that PDF file and up uh, uh, like they have to upload during that particular uh, when we, we were clicking on booking book the equipment they have to also download this format and upload it so that is also available so sometimes if customization is required you want some specific things to be uh, like filled for a particular equipment for each equipment this SRF this is service request form is available so this is very helpful for NMR so now let me i think it, this part is clear you can upload the image of your equipment uh, you can keep some equipment in inventory for example as of now the equipment is active it's working but you don't want it uh, you have given us the detail but you don't want it to be available for public user due to some or other reason you can drop an email to us or you can put that equipment in inventory directly so that is also available you want to only add one equipment for example you don't want to bulk upload here you can see in equipment you can bulk upload but if you don't want to go for bulk upload you want to just add one equipment you can just add the equipment and you can uh, like fill all these details whichever are not mandatory you can choose to skip and in this way yes definitely you can uh, add a equipment to the department here you can see in add equipment there is one option of department you have to mention from which depart to which department you want to add the equipment if it will be uh, if you will log in as a dp as a department admin if it will definitely go to your department so as an ir it is showing me an option uh, another option okay so this was all about all the three create view upload and reports now i am taking you to the main website 
and we will talk briefly about the Kaushal Bharat module. So why we come with the Kaushal Bharat module? Let me take it to uh, like consideration what is happening as of now in the country. As of now in the country, each and every equipment that is present that is procured from outside. Some of the foreign uh, companies are manufacturing these equipments and their engineers are coming here for providing us with the service. So we are not only dependent for equipment, we are also dependent for the manpower. We have, and even in some cases, some uh, uh, like some of the machines, you have to buy product from them only. Like you cannot even buy it from your own indigenous market. So you are dependent for equipment, you are dependent for manpower, you are dependent for raw material. This is a high level of dependence for our R&D R &D, uh, infrastructure. So to tackle these issues, the first thing that we can do from here is we can train these, uh, these uh, new generation uh, scientists or new generation engineers on these tools. And this training is not a theoretical training. We want them to get to know that particular equipment. We want them to do a hands-on. We want them to see how a TEM looks like. What is the in internal engineering? How it is made? If I, as an engineer, I know that electromagnetic lenses, if they that can be changed somehow, if they can be engineered somehow, the TEM column can be reduced then that should be there these kinds of things will come only when i know that how what is the internal engineering of that tem and uh, in the country like india where we have such a good human resource who is willing to learn each and every time then this will uh, be a very good initiative if can can be done so uh, we firstly want to start with the hands-on training they should with the hands-on training also what is the internal engineering of that particular equipment that should be discussed what are the drawbacks where uh, what what is the lab that is required if if a particular lab require uh, some vacuum installation some moisture control that should be added with that training so that that particular uh, manpower who is actually learning from these equipment he can think later he can talk about some of the innovations and he can later send a proposal to iSTEM itself and we can move forward with the funding so these kinds of opportunities we are trying to bring and we are trying to bring it to each and every unemployed youth because who are willing to move forward in their career in tool operation so firstly we are focusing mostly on we are we are preferring the person who are unemployed who, who are currently in their final year of ITIE and these kinds of uh, trade where they hands on, where they are very good at hands on uh, training. You can see some of the tool operators who are 10 to 15 year old, uh, they have just done a technical ITI diploma, but they are doing really good. They know more about that equipment, more than a graduate or someone who is of higher education who uh, and sitting there. So we want to bring that operator to the portal by talk to expert program firstly we want to bring the technical officer who are actually responsible for that uh, operating that equipment to the portal through talk to expert we want to bring the scientist and the principal scientist and the faculty member who have such a good expertise in that particular equipment to the national portal we want to know these person we want to identify these people why we always have to bring engineer from outside and uh, ask them to give a lecture then pay them 50 to 60 thousand then after that whenever they will come to our country they, they want to give any service then also we need to pay why we have to be so much dependent on them when we have our expert in our country itself so for that reason we are trying to bring the talk to expert program the second is when we talk about skill development training yes you can go to train research scientists you can go to create training for example under stuti program and there are different programs that are ongoing in the country under dst pers uh, for example you have procured some equipment you want to uh, give some kind of training you can definitely create a training over here you can write the name of training what is the title and from which date to which date you want to conduct the training. For example, I want to conduct a training uh, into upcoming 23 to 27. Then I can do it and I can go, go with the title and the 
uh, topics, I can write a phone number, I can write an email ID, I can write the name of an organizer and the collaborative institution. If it's, it's very important in India, if we can collaborate across the institution, for example, an institution has STEM and you have XRD and maybe some institution has photoluminescence, uh, like uh, there are some devices which are related to any, any kinds of characterization. You can create wonders when you will come together. So yes, uh, definitely this can be done. So when we talk about venue in this particular, uh, uh, like you can write which is the venue where you are organizing. You can write the name of your lab. You can write the name of the place, maybe the conference hall, seminar hall, meeting room, anywhere in the laboratory maybe. And you can write your contact number. You can write your address and you can write the pin code and etc. So all these things are things are there. We can always mention and now. I, I can upload my training banner, I can upload my training poster, I can upload the agenda, I can write down the name of the coordinator who will be coordinating with the training. I can write down my own Facebook, Twitter, YouTube link. Why not? If you are conducting such a good training, why not publicize yourself everywhere? And why not publicize through the national portal also? So all these things are available and you can click on submit and once you will click on submit, this will be live on the portal. And uh, as of now, we have three training that are con 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 we are conducting. The uh, we have conducted two of the training. One is we have one is on uh, we will start on first of September, and this will be uh, on Kogunadu Arts and Science College. So there will be there will be a technical training, and you can click on apply now as a user, and you can apply to this training. And that is a very transparent process. You can apply, and that particular person, if he he or she, whosoever is the coordinator, if they uh, whosoever is the coordinator, they can click on uh, how many people have attended, how many people has not attended. Uh, you can mark on the national portal. And here you can see this, these were the two trainings. We started with the Northeast Diblugar University. Then we went to IIT BHU uh, and uh, in the renewable energy equipments. And now it's on Coimbatore. Slowly we are moving on to the different SAF labs in the country. So yeah, this way we are moving forward with the skill development program. And let me tell you with this particular, uh, like in this time with this particular meeting that this skill development program has not, has been started on this year only. And so far uh, we have conducted three skill development program and in that process for skill development we have talked to more than 36 laboratories across the country and uh, including the SAF labs that we are currently doing. So now we will click on find tool engineer for example some of the person who whosoever uh, person are there and they have uh, attended a particular training for example this particular person Anshuman Yadav he has completed this uh, particular training, skill development training or renewable energy equipment. This is a, this was a 15 day training on the solar equipments, wind, wind tunnel and everything. So he got a grade A plus and you can find his resume. And if you want to hire someone from rotatory evaporator group and slowly the grades will be uploaded over here. We have asked the coordinator to upload the grades such so that whenever you will log into the portal, five of the person you want to uh, like uh, from the uh, national portal, five of the TAM operators you want and for example there is one training on TEM you can take five of them you can take the interview and hire one why you have to wait for one or two uh, like uh, weeks or more than that because your time is valuable as a scientist or a research engineer or a tool operator as a technical officer so in this way yes you can save your time within a second you can go to the portal you can download some of the resume you can uh, shortlist some of them and maybe call some of them and hire them so these uh, as per your uh, criteria and you can also see what is their highest qualification for example you if don't want to go with the someone who is MSc in life sciences, you can also see the B pharma uh, groups, you can also see MSc ca uh, chemistry, you can also see the person who is diploma in a particular mechanical engineering. All these are trained skilled power. They are willing to get hired from uh, the institution across the country. So yes, that can be done. Now I will take you to the ad technologist. For example, under the Stuti program or the different technical training program that you conduct over the CSIR skill development program are also there. So if you want to add some of the technologist and similarly, there are different universities who conduct skill development training from time to time that maybe we never came to know because of uh, like maybe they are very much uh, confined to their particular area or very few people know about that particular university. So yes, you can always upload what is your, the name of applicant whosoever is there for example uh, one of the candidate or uh, diploma candidate you want to add over here you can 
uh, add about them you can add about the statement of purpose you can add their bio data they can also add their bio data but uh, as of now only uh, the one who has created the training we have given this right to them and uh, also some of the rights are to the custodians so yes uh, they can always upload these kinds of uh, uh, applicant to the uh, national portal so as of now i am not clicking on submit because yes I, I, then a dummy value will be created in fine tooled engineers so this is all about the kaushal bharat so uh, as we know that there are three kinds of dependencies so to tackle these this is the first step once someone will get to know thereafter then only we can train them and if you will go to the r&d infrastructure map again and if you will go to the funding opportunity to researchers we are about to complete this particular session this is one of the last thing that we want to talk about so for example you hire someone from the skill develop so you meet someone from the skill development training you train them for 10 to 15 days and you got to know that this particular candidate is very sharp and now you want to take him him or her as an intern then that is also possible so you can take a particular you can take a particular candidate as an intern so this is also available through the R&D portal and we can pay for that particular intern for six months and that would be a very nominal charge. For example, maybe 10 to 15 K we can pay from our end and uh, uh, other half can be paid by the laboratory also or you can provide some kind of uh, you can say some kind of incentive from your end maybe you can provide them with the living space or anything that your institute can provide so all these facilities are also available so uh, this was all about the internship opportunity for more details you can go to the website you can go to r&d infrastructure map and uh, you can click on funding opportunity to researchers and you can always get all these details so i hope so far internship is clear and this is the skill development and uh, if you talk about format 3 let me briefly talk about format 3 because uh, wherever um, there is a particular equipment it is out of the project service time for example uh, for four year you got a project you got a equipment and now you are very much happy and uh, like this uh, equipment is working fine what happened that suddenly the amc stopped like now the project money uh, with the project money you cannot go for the annual maintenance so that particular equipment will definitely go down or when it will not be or it will be an equipment that will not be used so to tackle these kinds of issue we came up with the format 3 funding about two of the formats now uh, when i talk about the first format so this particular format is for some of the research engineers research scientists or the startups or the academician who are working in our indian labs but they do not have money to uh, like to travel through one lab to another they do not have money to characterize their sample if this is the kind of issues that they are facing then they can definitely write to us they can uh, create uh, they can download this format number one and they can write to us so this is also available and the second when we talk about format number two here you can see if you are uh, some scientist or some operator or anyone who is related to a particular equipment product or consumable and you are trying to build it in the country indigenously for example uh, my lab uh, is uh, willing to create nanographene today and if uh, uh, any support is required for that for that nanographene and i want to sell it all over the country then for that particular nanographene all the uh, all the support that can be possible uh, to for characterization for travel that can be provided uh, for consumables that can be provided and you can definitely make an indigenous product uh, without any uh, you can say any other funding that you have maybe you do not have any funding at that time if you have a funding then definitely why will you go for another funding so yes uh, when we talk about these kinds of funding opportunity that are subject to reimbursement because ISTEM is not a funding body we recommend different projects and then uh, the government pays for them and a different funding body space for pay pay for them basically your project is supported by office of psa to government of india so as of now you can also see in r&d infrastructure how many supported projects we have if i will click on this uh, let me log out first so if i will click on supported projects 
here these are the different kinds of supported project 26 supported projects so far we have given in which the uh, skill development training three of the skill development training they are also included so yes this kind of catalytic grant is also included and these are some of the institutes uh, for example be uh, bits mesra ranchi this the tamegi institute of medical sciences national institute of technology kalikat karunia institute of technology and sciences coimbatore Prabha, prabhat kumar college of kontai so there are different kind of colleges who are taking uh, the students or the academicians who are taking benefit of this catalytic grant and uh, i am very happy to tell you that one of the patent recent we have received under this catalytic grant and we hope that this will uh, go further because this particular grant has also been uh, like started in 2021 here you can see in 2021 only this is started and uh, so yes uh, in the sec from the second phase is started actually from august 2021 so yes uh, uh, this is uh, a kind of initiative where we can go to the end user we can find out what is their problem and maybe we can look upon it so yes all these features are also available at iStem portal you can create any national event in the portal same uh, by the same way here you, you will get one event option you can create event you can go to create event you can create an event similarly you can share your digital catalog if you want to share some kind of technology that you are developing maybe at the initial stage so we can talk to you we can uh, maybe help you under the Atmanirbhar initiative we can try to give any support that can be required at that time and maybe you can move from an idea to the patent so these kinds of thing is also possible in the technology if you have any publication through uh, your particular institute like you, you some some research papers you have published or something is there you can always uh, bring here in the digital catalog if you want to bring them to the public portal and if the industries who are visiting our portal or the startup who are visiting our portal you want them to look upon it so far we have 600 plus uh, digital technologies listed in the portal you can explore more about that we are slowly also bringing the supplier and service provider someone uh, supply you the uh, silicon wafer bring them into the portal for example uh, i have seen in the very fine institute in the country if you want to buy one single wafer you have to wait for six to seven months also so these kinds of things should not happen with any phd candidate a phd candidate should be only focused on his or her research and all the equipments be it booking of an equipment be it buying a consumable be it, be it provide a service for a particular uh, uh, equipment that should be very easy for them and for example in a particular institute if tem is down they can come to the national portal they can book through the portal every without knowing anyone in that particular lab so everything like that is possible if you have any supplier in your particular institute, if you know any supplier, bring it to the portal, drop an email to istemindia.gmail.com and we will definitely try to bring that supplier on board and they can also sell through the portal. Similarly, for the service provider, if you have any uh, some kind of service provider that you know who has very good testing facility or like corrosion testing and other kinds of testing or maybe who are very good at uh, some of the facility that they are providing, uh, some of the services they are providing, bring them onto the portal if they are related to R&D research resources and we will definitely try to move forward with them. So all these things are there. We are slowly coming up with SNT clusters. Some of the SNT clusters are also live on the portal. Portal. You can look upon it and you can talk more about it. You, if you want to hire someone uh, to your particular lab, like uh, that is related to uh, your R&D uh, infrastructure, you can hire. You can uh, you can drop a advertisement over here and the person can directly apply through the portal so all these facilities are available and all the application will go to your database what is the database as of now here if within your login you can see all the applicant list anytime so for example today you do not have funds to hire some of the candidates who are really very good you can go back and when the funds will be there you can probably talk to them and you can hire them all these kinds of facilities were not available previously As, uh, we have also seen in some of the laboratories uh, when there is a vacancy they have to uh, take their uh, cv through email from how many times you will uh, see that email and go through it and scrutinize here you can directly create a vacancy and people can apply and you can in one go you can see how many applications are there so these kinds of facilities are there because uh, the main idea behind istem is if uh, research is there it should be very easy if resources are there they should be accessible be it the convenient time 
be it the uh, research infrastructure that we have, be it the supplier, be it the service provider or be it the national events, the events that are of national importance, be it the technical training of national importance. Basically, we are currently focusing on R&D uh, related skill development. But yes, if they are there, they should be visible to everyone. So uh, with this, uh, similarly, we are also creating an R&D database map about which we will slowly talk about in some uh, maybe other meeting that we will we can conduct over the time. So this was all about iSTEM. If there are any other questions, uh, we are very much happy to uh, like talk about it. And here you can see if you will go to the portal, you can go to the support team. Here are we have our customer care number. You can join our Telegram or WhatsApp group. You can always talk to iSTEM support team and we are more than happy to help each one of you if you are facing any problem. And uh, this is a big idea that we are taking forward and hopefully uh, this will be a success. So thank you everyone who were here for uh, this particular meeting and uh, you can always drop an email to istemindia at the gmail.com for any questions and thank you again. If there are any questions, I'm ready to take. And you can also click on register and uh, register yourself as a public user. You can register your institution. You can register a supplier and service provider using a single click. So this was all. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, I am closing the meeting. Thank you all.